Hello everyone, and welcome to another Flickr app developer tutorial video. Today I'm going to be looking at the Scatter Slave hardware again and making a little example project to create a passive component tester. To get the Scatter Slave hardware running, um, I'm going to go to the Flickr wiki which is uh, flickr.co.uk slash wiki. I'm going to click on the component library link. And this lists all the various components within Flickr. If I scroll down to the API Scout Slave section, you can see that we have a page assigned for each of our current Scout Slave platforms. If I click on the Arduino Uno, then this provides me a link to the latest firmware and also a mapping of the various I.O. Uh, so the digital and the analog channels and which pin that word uh, correspond to. I have a version of the firmware loaded up here and all I need to do is open it in Flockard 9, click build, project options change the programmer port to match the port of my connected Arduino click modify and then click the build compile to target button asking me to save the project and it's asking me to connect my Arduino click OK and here you can see my Arduino board is programming two LEDs lit up and then here we have programming successful so that's the Scatter Slave firmware loaded on the Arduino and ready to go. So I have my component test project. Now I've been discussing this on our forums. So that's flocker.co.uk slash forums. And here under, um, I'm not sure where we are actually. Let's have a quick look. On the next general under general uh, I have an electrical test component tester section, um, category here I've, I've published the um, scout slave firmware link and also uh, my app creator uh, project as well as a little hookup schematic uh, and then basically gone through how I'm getting on and maybe ways that we could improve this in, in the future. So if we go back to the, the project, um, then on the, on the panel properties I've exposed things like uh, COM port for the SCAD slave component, so I've, I've basically come here, right clicked it, exposed to top level, and that's providing me this COM port here, so this is the connection to the Arduino Uno. We have various things such as um, the supply voltage, so some microcontrollers might be at 3.3 volts, we have the bit depth, so some microcontrollers might be capable of 12 bits ADC conversions or maybe only 8 bits. We have the series resistor, um, and this is the resistor here specified uh, between D2 and A0. And I can change that uh, as, as I need to, and, and that will update on the panel here and update all the various calculations within the software. This uh, is, is sort of an arbitrary value, and um, we recommend it doesn't go below 330 ohms just to save the, uh, just to protect the I/O pins on the Arduino. Currently, I've connected uh, an 11k resistor, and if I just move my uh, hardware slightly, you can see that I have three pins coming from my Arduino to my breadboard, and this is my series resistor. So that's my 11k resistor connected between pins D D2 and A0. Uh, this is the, the value that we're going to test. Um, that's the 1k resistor. Uh, so let's see what values uh, the program can give to us. So all I need to do is check that my COM port is correct, which it is. Uh, I check that the pins are correct. So the high pin is D2, the low pin is D3, and my analog test pin is A0. 
and then I just simply click run. You see that um, on the console it's saying that um, the Arduino scatter has been initialized. If I click test resistance, 996.9R. So that's that's uh, that's very very close to where I was aiming for at uh, 1,000 ohms. So now if I remove the resistor, instead place a capacitor, we can test the, the value of the capacitor. So I have the, the positive side of the capacitor connected to pin A0 and the negative to pin D3. If I click test capacitor, test capacitance, then the capacitor will discharge. Uh, to get it into a, a known sort of stable state and then as soon as we're discharged we'll charge it up monitor the rise time with the um, series resistance in mind and here we've got a reading of 18.9 microfarads so uh, not brilliant but it's, um, it's it's reasonably close to the 100 microfarad capacitance that we we have connected if I click it again, let's see uh, if it gives us a slightly different reading. Discharging, and then we're charging back up. Now oh, this time we've we've overshot a bit with 118. Um, as you can see, it's not perfect, um, but hopefully with a bit of time and a bit of practice, we can improve and, and keep working on this. Um, it shows that some of the things that we can do with the app developer software. So once I have this, I can now if I stop the application. If I go to File, Export, I can deploy this as a Flowcode app. Yes, I want to save. Um, there's, there's various options, but I want my main view to be the 2D dashboard panel. Uh, I don't want the 3D system panel. I always want the properties to be shown. Uh, I want the console to be available. I'm not bothered about the data recorder. Um, I want to bundle the app developer runtime. And I want it to be called component tester. I click deploy. It allows me to specify the folder that it goes into. I'm just going to press that on my desktop for now. Success. So now if I close my Flickr project and if I open my um, find it, here we go, the component tester folder and inside there we have the .mscada project file as well as a patch file to open it up for us and the app developer runtime itself. So if I double click on the batch file, here it was for look at app developer. So you can now share this this folder to anyone you like who don't need to look at installed and this, this will all just run as is uh, for them with, with no installation required. Um, I can specify my COM port so uh, just check that the COM port's correct, um, everything as was, and then I can, as before, do capacitor and resistor tests. Now we have various uh, requests on the forums to have things like inductors, um, transistors, MOSFETs, triacs. Um, I think all of this is possible. Um, and I'm going to try and, and see what I can do, uh, but obviously my time is quite is quite um, stretched. Um, so I, I would really appreciate uh, if, if anybody fancies jumping in and, and helping with any of these projects, or even taking them on and turning them into their own projects. That would be um, really, really brilliant, um, and I'm, I'm really uh, keen to see this sort of thing happen. Um, again, the, the forum is a, is a brilliant place for you to uh, let us know what, what you'd like to see or to share what you've been doing. Um, 
and I hope this demonstration has been useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.